Hey guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you're new so you never miss a single video. Yo, what's poppin' loyalists? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the solo director mode glitch, but how to bring duffel bags online. So this will work for all duffel bags, but today we'll be bringing the LV brown duffel bag online. So to get started, the very first thing that we're gonna do is start off in story mode, open up the interaction menu, and go into director mode. From here, we're gonna go into our shirtless actors, and we wanna begin to hit triangle to remove anything that's inside of our shirtless. Now, if you don't have anything in here, then you guys are good to go. And the very next step is for us to go into actors, animals, and we're gonna shirtless our chicken hawk by hitting triangle. Now you guys can do this with the seagull or the crow, pretty much any bird that can fly. All right, from there we're gonna back out, go into online characters, and we're gonna shirtless our GTA online character that we wanna do this glitch with. I'm gonna be using my GTA online character one, so we're gonna hit triangle, and that's gonna put this character inside of our shirtless. Now from here, we're just gonna hit circle, circle, and exit to story mode. Now that we're in story mode, we're just gonna start up an invite only session. Now, once we get inside of this invite only session, we wanna make our way down to a clothing store and purchase a standard outfit. So you guys can find these standard outfits inside of the standard outfit section. There's a whole section for it right up at the counter at the front in the store. So all you guys gotta do is walk up to the front counter of the store, hit right D-pad and go into the standard outfit section and buy one of these standard outfits. All right, doesn't really matter which one you guys get but we're gonna get this one right here because it has pretty much the least amount of accessories on it because we're gonna take all of the accessories off of it. So that's the very next step is to take any and every accessory off of this outfit. So if it has a hat on or glasses, take it off. Next, we're gonna go down to the gun shop and we're gonna purchase our parachute bag. All right, once we have a parachute, then we're gonna go into parachute bags and we're gonna make sure that we have the Israel parachute bag purchased. All right, so make sure you guys have the Israel parachute bag purchased. Next. We're just going to walk out and we're going to start up a parachuting job. So we're just going to open up the map options, find a parachuting job around the map and start that up by hovering over it and hitting square. Now, if you guys can't see the blue job markers around the map, when you open it up, all you guys want to do is open up the interaction menu, go to high job options and make sure you set it to custom and all jobs are showing. But once we have this parachuting job started up, all we're going to do is launch it solo. Now, once we're inside of this job, we're gonna hit square so we can jump out of the helicopter and we're gonna begin to fall. Now, the goal here is to not hit the ground, but we wanna make sure that we quit out of the job before actually hitting the ground. So we're gonna pull our parachute bag pretty early here to give us enough time to open up our phone, select X and then square and hover over this. Are you sure you wanna quit the job? And we're gonna to wait to quit the job until we're pretty close to the ground, but we don't wanna hit the ground. So we're gonna get about that close and then hit X so we can quit the job before hitting the ground. Now, once we back out of that job and quit, we should be back here and we should open up our weapon wheel and see two parachuting bags right there, okay? Once you guys have that, all you guys need to do is call for a buzzard, sign it to your CEO, go to CEO vehicles, buzzard, and we're just gonna pretty much jump out of this buzzard. All right. Also, I'm just gonna bribe the authorities here so when I jump out of this buzzard, we don't get any stars. All right, so the very next step is for you guys to jump out of a buzzard. You guys can do this within any location you want. All right, I'm just doing it right over the time trial. That way, we're gonna go right into the time trial right after this. So we're already over here. So you guys can use that buzzard to fly over to the time trial if you want to. But all we're gonna do is jump out of the buzzard. We're not gonna do anything special. And boom, I'm just gonna land. And just like that, that's all we're gonna do. Now we're over by the time trial, so what we're gonna do is make sure we have our spawn location or last location first. And then we're gonna go into style, parachute, and we're gonna switch our bag. So we're just gonna switch it to the Israel shoot bag. 
If it's already sitting on that option for you, just switch it once to the left and then back to Israel shoot bag. And once you back out of that interaction menu, you should see the cloud saving icon at the bottom right hand corner. That's the orange little saving icon. And once you guys have that, you're good to get into a vehicle. Go over to the time trial, hit right D-pad, start the time trial up, and then switch to a story mode character and confirm it. Once in story mode, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into director mode. And from here, we're going to go into our shirtless actors. And we're going to begin to hold up on the left analog stick to switch between our bird character and our online character. And our bird should be duplicating right here at this stage. All right, now we're going to do this for approximately 26 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer. Put a rubber band around my controller and go AFK. Alright, so 26 minutes later, our birds are duplicating and my character is about to get glitched out. Which means he's going to spawn on top of the haystack where the birds are right here. And when he does that, this is how we know we are ready to get our modded outfits. But I like to continue to do this for a few more times. So until I notice that my character is not actually going back over to the casting trailer because if they do go over back to the casting trailer then your characters will be turning back into normal characters and you won't have modded outfits so I'm gonna do this a few more times to make sure my glitch is sticking so I'll do this until I'm sure he's not popping back over to the casting trailer once I'm sure I'm gonna hit triangle to remove the bird right there it's gonna bring us back over here I'm gonna hit circle go into actors beach bums and down to bodybuilder and hit square over these categories so i'm just going up to one category pressing square to change my appearance and as you guys can see we have our modded outfits now i'm doing this to make sure that the outfits will stick so i'm not technically looking for an outfit yet but at this stage if you guys do see an outfit that you like along with a christmas mask attached to it then you guys can shirtless that outfit and you really can take that outfit online if you're done there but that's not what I'm going to do here. I'm looking for a specific type of outfit, a specific type of bag, and I want my outfits to stick. So I'm just going to keep doing that. All right. So once you guys find an outfit that you like, you want to have it in your shirtless like so. So I found a couple of outfits that I liked with the duffel bag on it that I want to try to bring online. Now the duffel bag can be tricky. Plus you guys want to make sure that these outfits don't have anything blacklisted attached to them. Now that can be tricky as well, but you guys pretty much know what blacklisted items are. Invisible legs, cop belt, invisible torso possibly, invisible arms, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Christmas clothing, a uh, rock star clothing as well, which I found and is blacklisted. So I tried to bring it online and it is blacklisted. So make sure that your outfit doesn't have any of that attached to it. Now, one other thing we can do to make sure that this duffel bag comes online is once we are in our shirt list, we want to test this duffel bag out. Now, how we can test it is by hovering over this outfit within our shirtless, then backing out, going into actors, and then we're going to go into our story characters, and we're going to go down to Brad, and we want to hover over Brad's name. Now, when we do this, if the duffel bag disappears, then I would not bring that duffel bag online. I would not try to bring that outfit online. To me, that means that that duffel bag will despawn as soon as you come online all right so you want the duffel bag to stick when you go to brad's name so once you guys have that you tested it the duffel bag is sticking you can back out go into your shirtless actors and then select that outfit with the duffel bag that you're sure is going to stick and then we're just going to do the glitch as normal so we're going to go into director mode with that outfit on like so wait around for 15 to 20 seconds from here we're just going to hold down on the d-pad and switch to any story mode character that is available and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to wait around in story mode now with this outfit on for approximately 15 to 20 seconds all right now we're just going to start up an invite only session and if everything went correctly if all is well with that outfit you guys should be online with the outfit plus the duffel bag now if you're online with just the outfit and not the duffel bag and you have your Israel parachute bag on one thing at this stage that you could try is to open up the interaction menu sign in as a CEO go to style management switch it once to the left then back to none 
and your duffel bag should appear now if it doesn't appear still then you guys maybe had something blacklisted on that outfit or just something that wasn't agreeing with the duffel bag so whenever you did that or try to bring it online it just made it disappear so you guys know how this game is like if you put a hat on or something the duffel bag will disappear so something to that effect must have happened so that could be preventing you guys from bringing duffel bags online now since you guys did make it to the end of this video i'm gonna give you guys a bunch of tips here one you guys really don't need to have a standard outfit on when you're doing this glitch all right so i didn't have a standard outfit on when i did this the second time so that's number one number two i'm not exactly sure that you guys need to jump out of the helicopter in the beginning and start up a parachuting job we weren't doing that before we did find a way around that but here i actually combined those two methods just to make sure that you guys get your duffel bag so I want to make sure that you guys can get it as much as possible as accurately as possible get these duffel bags and bring them online so I merged two methods and then I cleaned them up as well so I kind of cut a lot of steps out and then I added steps where you guys can just you know have it all together and make it clean and simple for you guys so I hope you guys do appreciate that definitely took me all day to figure this out and it took me all day to get the duffel bag online that, that wasn't my first attempt I did try two other times to get the duffel bag online but uh, from here we want to save the outfit you guys know how you got to save the duffel bag you do need to fly over the mass shop with your buzzer or your mk2 oppressor and try to get pulled into the mass store while wearing your parachuting bag that way you can save your duffel bag so as you see when we get pulled into the mass shop while wearing that parachuting bag you won't see the duffel bag right now but all you need to do is hit square and then it's going to bring you into the edit saved outfits and then you save your outfit you name it and then all you guys need to do is back out so hit circle back out the outfit is saved you guys will see the parachuting bag pop off and then all you guys need to do is open up the interaction menu go down to style and select that outfit that you just saved it under select that name that you just saved that outfit under also don't name it something inappropriate because then it might get blacklisted or it might get stolen or disappear whatever you want to call it don't name it something inappropriate name it something low-key something easy simple all right guys so that's how you guys get the duffel bags it's so many more tips and tricks to this glitch you guys already know i got a bunch of them but uh, i'm trying to make them simple for you guys especially for the new people but for all my day one vets at this glitch you guys know what you can do you know what to do if you want you can do the freeze mask glitch to get the duffel bag to get the exact duffel bag that you want or to make it faster you guys could also freeze the joggers if you want to merge the freeze mask with the freeze joggers and then get the duffel bag at the same time so you can get white joggers with this duffel bag plus white body armor it's pretty simple watch my previous videos we'll be back on the channel with more